like that. All right, check this out. We got another big fish, guys. All right, whoa. I don't know if we can land this guy. Holy Toledo, look at the size of this brown trout, dude. And dude, that's, wow, all right. Hello, party people. Guess what? I'm up in a stream here. It's like, you know, 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. It's kind of warm out, and I'm actually seeing bug activity right now. Downstream from here, I'm seeing a bunch of risers. Um, this stream here, I fished the beginning of the week, and I didn't get a chance to finish it because I didn't. See, there's a bug right there. I didn't get a chance to finish it due to the uh, fact that I lost my hemostat and I lost my clipper, so I wasn't able to take anything apart. And, uh, I wasn't able to do much besides, you know, cutting it on the edge of a rock or something like that, and that's not going to work today. So so today I have all my gear. Everything's all ready to go. I'm going to finish the rest of this trout journey. I've probably got, I don't know, quite a little ways to go. Probably a couple hours. Here's the beginning of it. I'm going to shoot up through there and around the corner and all the way up until I hit the highway and then back to my vehicle and back home. Yeah, let's get this trout journey started because we're wasting time here and it looks too beautiful and I can't just stand here and go nuts not being able to cast my pole. All right, catch you back here shortly. Many, many minutes later. Hey, I'm up here. All right, is this turned on? Sure is. All right, I'll try the silver for a little bit longer. If all else fails, we'll just take it off and up oh, something hit it, something hit it again. So little teeny fish hit it. Look at that. Whee! Got a teeny little brook trout, I think. Look at the size of that guy. Alright, first fish of the day. A little teeny wee brook trout. So I'm just gonna get this guy off the hook really fast here. Alright, whatever. Man, he was so hard to even hold on to, so he's over here somewhere. I don't know. Swam over here. He might have swam back up over there. Ah, what a pain. Oh well, first fish of the day, brookie. Nothing chased it out. Nothing even chased it. Nope. Now you're gonna try to chase it. Not attempted to chase it. At least with the silver, some, all those fish were chasing it, so. Maybe today's a silver day. I don't know. I passed that log slightly. Down through that pool. There we go. I told you. I got it in that pool. I thought maybe for sure I'd catch one. Wow, and he threw the hook. Gosh darn it. Oh well. 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5. Hey. That'll probably never happen again in this spot, but hey, what the heck? It was fun anyways. This is brand new hook, so it shouldn't even it shouldn't have happened, but you know, stuff tends to happen sometimes. That's the way it goes. I'm catching a big old leaf behind it again. Jeez, that leaf is just won't go away. All right, well, man, I don't know. They're swaddling that gold and spitting it. So they're not hitting it super hard. They're hitting it, but they're not hitting it with a super aggression. They're kind of putting this minimal aggression on it. And we don't want minimal, we want hardcore like that. All right, check this out. We got another big fish, guys. All right, whoa. I don't know if we can land this guy. Holy Toledo, look at the size of this brown trout, dudes. And dude, that's, wow, all right. Check out this pole, oh, it's bending there for this guy. He's heavy. Woo, all right, check it out. Woo, all right. <sighs> How far down in there do you have it? Let me get my hand wet here. This guy here engulfed my little spinner. Hopefully I can get it out of his mouth. I don't want to kick him home at all. Yeah, he's, he's not doing so hot. All right. Well, there you go. I don't want to take a fish home today, but it looks like I'm not going to have a choice. This guy is 16 inches and he cut it down in the gill plate. He swallowed my little spinner of mine. He just engulfed it. So I tried everything I could to get it out and there's just no possible chance of it. So he's not going to make it. He's dripping like crazy. So I think that's a female though. So anyways, anyways, check this guy out. He's huge, 16 inches, going in my bag, going home with me. All right, guys, back in a second. So hey, when you get upstream and this creek is primarily a brook trout stream, um, it used to be, there's a lot of brown trout in here now. Uh, after talking to a fly fisherman guy downstream who's you know kind of older dude from town, he was telling me that originally they were the whole town and everybody in this area was mad that they were introducing brown trout into the stream because it was just they figured it would uh they just come in here and gobble up all the little brook trout and it would turn into a brown trout stream, which you know there's a pretty big one right there. So I'm not really feeling too guilty about taking him home. Uh I don't know, what am I going to do? I mean, if it's not going to survive, I'm just going to take and have to take it home and fillet it out. I don't think I have my catch and cook gear in the truck. Otherwise, I'd probably cook it up right away, but I don't know, we'll have to see. If I have something, I'll do it. If not, well, you know, maybe another time. 
But uh, yeah, back shortly. I'm gonna get in here and catch some more fish. All right, I don't work for this company, but this stuff works fantastic. Medella Naturals, it's deep free, natural insect repellent. Stuff works fantastic. And it doesn't you know scare away the fish and it's got a nice vanilla scent to it and just works wonderful. And anyway, on Amazon, I'm not pushing it because you know I'm not an Amazon seller, but you can get like two bottles for like almost 750 or something. Two nice big size bottles and they get rid of mosquitoes. All right, apparently I don't know how to turn the camera on. We caught ourselves a 10 inch brown trout right here. We got a six on that side, four on that side. Just 10 inches, not nothing spectacular. We'll let him swim out. Come on, dude, swim that way. There you go. He's going downstream and over there and into those rocks. All right, well, sorry I didn't get the catch. I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but we'll get the rest of them. Oh, perfect. All right. Hooks are a little bent, but hey, we're getting fixed. A little repair in the creek. All right, now let's see. Maybe we can catch something up through here. Right off that cut bank. Ooh, I got a leaf, I think. Oh, I got a fish right here in front of me. Ah, oh, 0.5, 0.5. And he came out of that pool and now he went down here probably to a different pool. All right, well, 0.5s are better than 0.0s. Fish on, fish on. I got me another one. All right, check this out. Another brown trout probably, eh? Look at him from the size of him. I'm guessing that he's a brown trout. Get ready, another fishy. All right, we got him in the net too. That worked out really well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's really rocky here. I'm not good with rocks. All right, Mr. Brown Trout. Boy, he's barely got it in his lip, too. So we get him free in about 10 seconds here. All right, there we go. All right, hooks out. That's fast and quick. All right, guys and gals, here we go. Seven inches on that side. And we got six inches on that side. We got ourselves a 13 inch brown trout. So we're just going to let this guy go and have some fun. There you go, dude. I'll let you go in the current here. Maybe, just maybe, you'll go downstream. All right, look at him. There he goes. Go, 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 go. All right, he's whipping down. Oh, no, oh, he's in there. There he went. Trying to figure out a good way through this mess. I'm lazy, I don't want to get out. So there's got to be a way through it. I don't know. Just like this, a shot. Just try to. Big branches as we go through. I wonder if anybody's been through here in a while. Apparently, nobody's been doing any of that. Shortest possible trip is this way, right through the middle of it. Wee! All right. There we go. Shortest possible trip. One eternity later. All right, let's lock the truck up. There's like this little spot down here. And I thought, well, geez, what would be the point? You know, you, the water down there was so shallow that it had to be shallow pretty much all the way up. But when you get up in these upper sections up here, there's some actually some pretty deep pools. I don't know, I'm gonna give it a shot here. I don't think much is gonna happen, but I'm gonna sure try it again anyway. I just wanna try to see if there's a brookie in here or something. I think I can cast past that thing. Just like that. There we go, told ya. Come down here and try to see if I can catch a brook trout before I had to leave. And there we go. Oh, and there Brook Trail went downstream right there. Oh, we got one. Let's go for number two. That was fun. All right, let's try that again. 20 minutes later. All right, next bridge. Hopefully this isn't a cliff here, but it looks like it goes straight up and down almost. What is the deal here? There's no rocks like here. Holy Toledo, look at this. This is like, I've been a bridge, I'm gonna go for a swim if I don't, I can't even see the rocks here. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, wow, it looks cool here. There's a big drop pool here. Look at that, there's a big pool there. I bet you there's a trout there too. The problem is, is that where I'm at right now, I'm not gonna catch it because everything that's sitting in here just saw me. So. Guaranteed, if I caught one now, I'd be shocked. I doubt it, but we can try. It never works fishing downstream, but we'll give it a shot just for a heck of it. There's a big stick in there. I don't want to get catch, catch the stick though. 
Fish on, fish on. That's hilarious. I caught a bird trout. Ah. All right, maybe this guy will fall off too like the rest of them have. All right, check it out. I'm just gonna get my hands wet here because this guy is pretty little, so I think he'll be fine. I think he's got mine hooked. All right, well, here's the bird trout right here. And there he goes. They just swam off because Oh, that's gonna be, yeah, that's gonna be tough. Yeah, it's gonna be tough, 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 tough. I don't even know how you fish this section here. Look at this stuff here. This is total overhang. Whoa, it is deep. All right, look at this mess. This is deep too. Whoa, wow, it's like waist deep here. Holy Toledo, this little spot. Whoa, right there is, what the heck am I, am I sinking into mud? Probably. Whoa, that is one heck of a deep spot, dudes. I am at, in the tiniest little creek you'll ever see. Look at this thing. This thing is like so little and that's so deep. I'm like over my waist here. Holy Toledo, look at this. this tiny, tiny, tiny little creek. And this thing is little. Look at the size of this thing. Holy, wow, holy buckets. There goes a brook trout. There's, nope, there's another one. I'm not going to be able to go far in this because I'm sinking in the mud here. I'm going to have to get out, walk around, and get back in. This is going to be really hard to cast, too. All right, let's see if we can get out. That's a ticket. Oh, can we get out of here? Oh. All right, here's the fun part, guys. Oh, my gosh, try to get out of here. I'm up in the mud. Up to my waist almost here. Uh, uh, can I get out? Uh, I can't get out. Oh no. Ah, uh, jeez. What a mess. Uh, wow. There's mud in there. That's past your knees. I kept sinking. I couldn't stop. I had to get out. Holy Toledo. Uh, wow. That went up past almost my waist. Woo. Check it out. The handle for the fluger is gone. If it fell off down here in the creek. I don't know how. I'm hoping that the water will clear slightly and maybe I'll see it down there. Probably doubtful. If you've seen that little dance before, there was a reason for that. I've lost so much weight right now that my waders are too big. All my belts are to the point where I got them like uh, every little notch is all the way up to the top. So I have to put more notches into the belt to make it, you know, so it fits. This is awesome. I can't believe how much I've lost. I'm thinking I haven't stepped on a scale officially since November. Um, I figured I didn't want to be watching numbers. I wanted to be paying attention to how I feel and how I just like everything. And all my shirts that I have, all my concert shirts, everything fit. This one here is like a <sighs> King Diamond shirt that I got years ago from a concert that I went to. And it hasn't fit. Every year that I would try to put this on, I'd put my arms up like this and my big giant belly would hang out the bottom of the shirt. So I wasn't able to wear it. And right now, it's going down pretty far because there's no belly there anymore. So it worked out pretty good. So what did you think of today? That was pretty awesome. I didn't really want to keep that fish. I, I figured, well, what the heck, you know, I've only had... Well, that's the second one I've harvested the whole year. I've been in a good catch and release guy all the way up to this point. And, you know, every once in a while, it's kind of nice to eat, eat a fish. I wasn't planning on eating this guy because I really would have rather let her go. So it ended up being a female. Once I cut her open, she had a bunch of eggs in there and stuff. So I got it all in a bag right down over here. I keep all the pieces of all these fish that I've been catching because I've taken the end here like maybe two weeks from now or something like that. I'm gonna take all the parts down to the St. Croix River and I'm gonna bring down my little stove and I'm gonna boil them all down into some nice juicy oil that I can put on baits and stuff like that. I got some creek chubs I wanna do. I have some trout parts I wanna do, which I might just mix the creek chubs and the trout. I don't know, maybe I'll just keep them separate. And then I have some mayflies. I have a whole jar full of them that were on our deck and one summer and they were just like a big pile of them. So I just put them all in a big mason jar and put them in a the freezer and they've been on there ever since. So I gotta boil them down too. And make a you know nice oil out of them 
So we're going to have that. That's going to be a separate video down on the road, though. So we're going to need to talk about that right now. But anyways, this has been awesome. Today, it was like, you know, it wasn't super spectacular or nothing like that. And I had to walk kind of a ways to catch those fish. And that last section that I did was kind of, eh. The upper area that I did, that was really wild. I was like walking through there. And I looked, at, you know, the creeks only like this wide. So I'm thinking, well, how bad could it be? And right when I get up there to the main part of it, the water's up to here. And I'm thinking, oh no, what am I gonna do? And then I get up a little farther, and that water, you know, the hard bottom ends, and then it's just all muck. So I walk up into that mud, and I sink down past my knees. And I'm thinking, geez, what am I gonna do? I said, well, I might as well cast a couple of times, because if I'm stuck here in the mud, you know, I, I'm not gonna get out anyways. So I get a couple of casts, I didn't catch anything. I watched a couple of brook trout shoot up past me. Eh, whatever. So I ended up having to try to pull myself up the bank, as you saw there. Hopefully the camera was turned on. And I got my way out of there, boy, that was a pain. But I have to remember that for next time I go, because next time I go there, I want to go with like the fly rod and see if I can't get back a little ways and didn't drop, you know, I'm not very good at it, but maybe drop a fly down in there and maybe float it through, see if I can get a brook trout out of there. That'd be pretty fun. Anyways, there's going to be a head over here. There's going to be a playlist over here. Go check out the tips, tricks, and techniques, places I go, the drifts, things that I do, fish that I catch, places that I, whatever. Not much else I can say. I can say places that what? What? What places? Anyways, head, playlist, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you for tuning in. It was fun, and I'm glad you came along. Uh -oh.